Hey guys, what's up? It's Sunny Rose. So today I thought I would do a really quick video just of me showing you all the supplies I have bought for my new baby hedgehog, which I'm actually getting next Tuesday, which I'm so excited about. You have no idea. All these fun supplies, which I thought I would show you, and these are just what I'm going to use for my hedgehog's cage and such. So yeah. I will apologize because two of the most important things have not arrived in the mail yet and that is the wheel and the heat lamp sadly those have not arrived yet and so just know that i'm not gonna not give my hedgehog a heat lamp and a wheel they are coming i just have not received them yet <laughs> anyway just to start off so over here this is all stuff i've gotten from the dollar store um it's actually really surprising all the pet supplies that you can get from the dollar store um, so I just got this little cat bowl, which, um, is just the food bowl, um, and it has this so it doesn't slide around. And then I have this little green storage bin, which I actually put a cut in, and this is the, um, this is her hide. And if you're wondering, no, the edges, I actually made it so they aren't sharp at all, and they're very safe. Um, I know that there, I, there's a little crack right here, and I think I might actually tape that up, but it's really not a big deal, and these aren't sharp at all. Okay, moving on, there's just this little frog bath toy, which I'm actually thinking maybe I shouldn't put in there, just because of how, I don't know, it just seems like she'll probably want to go inside of it, and I don't know how well she'll fit. She's still a baby, but I might have to take it out once she's gotten bigger. And then I also have these two, they're just washcloths um, that I'll just use for extra bedding. Speaking of bedding, I have these two fleece liners and they're nothing fancy, they're just two pieces of fleece cut out to fit my cage. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I have this one, which is super cute and then just teal. So yeah, I'm gonna be trying out fleece first and if I don't like it, I might switch to uh, paper bedding but for now I'm gonna try fleece next is the food and I just got a high protein grain free cat food um, and this one I just thought looked pretty good it is Canada pet food and it's it only has eight ingredients which I liked because I don't want a bunch of preservatives and it's made with real chicken um, so yeah this is probably a good choice <clears throat> because hedgehogs can actually eat cat food if you did not know but yeah, that's what I chose. Moving on to the toys. This was a little baby toy that my mom's coworker gave me. And I think it's absolutely adorable. It rattles and it's a little hedgehog. So hopefully she'll have fun with that. Um, and then I also have these two little balls and this one is so creepy. It's from Halloween. I know, but you know, she won't tell the difference. So that's gonna go in there. It's just a ping pong ball. And then I have this little cat toy wicker ball, which I will also put in there. And I don't know if hedgehogs chew a bunch. I don't really know if they're big chewers like rabbits and guinea pigs, but hopefully they won't chew too much. I don't know. <laughs> okay, this I'm really excited for. It's the All Living Things Multicolor Striped Tube. And this was only a dollar, I think, like a dollar ninety nine maybe, so maybe two dollars. And it's honestly so cute. I'm, it looks so cute, oh gosh. It looks so cute in the cage. It does come with this stuffing, which I probably will not use. In fact, I definitely will not use, just cause I want this to be more of a like tunnel that she can walk through comfortably. But yeah, that, they definitely recommend this is really cool. Okay, and then moving on, I have a All Living Things small animal water bottle. Just this, I think it's like a medium sized pink and I think this is a pretty good size for a hedgehog. Hopefully it'll work. I don't know, I've only ever used Katie with these. Really not least is the bin cage. And I have, I, it's a pretty big bin. I think the dimensions are 34 by either 16 or 18. So I think it's 30 by four by 16 and a half. So this is definitely enough floor space. And I think that the floor space is I, I kind of forget if they think it's either 612 or 636 so somewhere between that 
and I'm pretty sure that the minimum for hedgehog floor space is 540 square inches so this is above the minimum it's just a plastic bin so yeah but anyways that's all for today's video I really hope that you enjoyed it and if you did enjoy this video or if you found it helpful in any way please hit the like button because I would so much appreciate it and if you really enjoyed the video or you want to see more hedgehog content then please follow my channel because um, I do have a lot of plans for the future for doing some more hedgehog videos. I actually have a really fun video coming up soon that I'm really excited to film. So if you want to see that, you should, you should subscribe. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.